Resurrect Eject Operation Channel Intro Hello fellow YouTubers, Lego EWC Stop Motioner here, and here is Transformers Animated Voyager Class Bulkhead. As I said before, the class of a figure was determined by the vehicle mode, and that really does show with Bulkhead, because he mass shifts. He's really in vehicle mode out of the core five Autobots. He is easily the biggest. But then it really reverses when you get to robot mode. So let's go ahead and show that off now. So as you can see, Bumblebee, for example, is a lot smaller than Bulkhead. So that looks right. Still, very awesome vehicle mode. I absolutely love it. Not a whole lot of robot Kimmel. And really, the biggest complaint I have is this kind of just trench. I'm just going to call it a trench, okay? Just this trench here. But it's really not that bad. He looks very awesome. Very cool vehicle mode. So for transformation, okay, so to begin, just pull this down, just untab these, fold them back, and then you just kind of lift up on these arms, and then you want to tab this part in. Then you come underneath, pull the these out, pull the wheels underneath. You take this, and that reveals his head. And I can play hide and seek. Okay, you just split this part. Then there's these hinges back here. You just want to angle these out. And there is Bulkhead in his robot mode. So like I said, he's really big in vehicle mode, but in robot mode he's rather short. Especially at the head. Like with these, he's got a little bit of height to him, but robot mode he is very short for a Voyager. Still, as I said, I prefer the leader class version because the, I prefer this over the leader class version, I mean, because the leader class version has very long legs. This one has shorter legs, which is more accurate. And the leader class version has a saw blade for some reason and no wrecking ball, which I do want to show off now. You just, there's this lever right here and let's do that again. So you can definitely hit some Decepticons with that. My only complaint really with this Wrecking Ball is that I wish it could. There was some sort of reel on the arm so you could pull it back in. It's kind of a pain to wrap it back up and sometimes the string gets stuck down in there. Now here we got this really kind of weird gimmick. Just swing the arm up fast, I, I guess, if you want to. 
I kind of wish they had, rather than try to give us a different gimmick that honestly is not that great, I wish they'd just given us two wrecking balls. I can see the wrecking ball molded in there, but it doesn't deploy. Still, those are minor nitpicks. Really, the biggest complaint is that these don't tab in. Oh, well. Still, he's a very nice-looking figure. I really like how this figure looks. Head sculpt definitely looks like bulkhead. If you prefer the leader class version for the scale, I don't really blame you, but still. Personally, I like this one. And he's in scale with his rivals like Lugnut. And honestly, the scale between, between rivals, when there's scale issues there, that bothers me more, in all honesty. Okay, so. Let's just bring in all five Autobots. And there they are. That's all five Autobots. Really love how they look. Now, if you are more interested in Voyager Bulkhead, he is not the most expensive animated figure. I think that is because most people do prefer the leader class version due to better scale. So, if you are wanting to get online and grab this guy, he's not the priciest one. So, there's something to go on. I think that mostly covers him. Alright, so I guess I'll go in and stick him on the display. Okay, so, he's, like I said, he's not tall, but with those flaps on his back, I do need to stick him in the back a little bit, because I don't want him covering anybody up. So, tomorrow, I think I'll go ahead and review that guy. I'm not sure where I'm going to go from there. Megatron, I'm going to wait on until I get his sword. Hopefully, I can do that soon. But I might review Oil Slick or Swoop after that. But yeah, that's my review of Transformers Animated Voyager Class Bulkhead. A really nice figure. It's nice to finally have the Core 5 Autobots. And I'm pretty much done with them. I'm not really having to play catch up with any other parts unless I want to get Optimus Primes, the Deluxe Optimus Primes Axe, since that scales better and just looks better overall. But other than that, I'm pretty much done. I'm not worried about Prowl's traffic light swinger thingy. So yeah, that's really cool. So if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and God bless.